Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Prasad Pudhilam and I am continuing my uh, class video on Biology for Engineers 21 BE 45 which is common to all the 4th semester branches of ETU Karnataka. Okay, so chapter 1 of this particular uh, uh, syllabus, chapter 1 that is Biomolecules and their Applications in which a 4th topic, 4th subtopic that is Lipids. Lipids are a group of organic compound which are which include fat, uh, oil, waxes, and some hormones. Okay, some uh, schematic representation is given here. Uh, schematically, we can represent uh, with the head uh, two or three tails like this. Not only two, sometimes three, sometimes one. Okay, so this is hydrophilic groups are there mainly mainly the that is a train okay so this is hydrophilic group uh, phosphorus uh, phosphates are there uh, and then this tail which represents the uh, hydrocarbon only hydrogen and carbon they are not uh, having any only hydrogen and carbon have no affinity or uh, loving towards the water molecule uh, but uh, the phosphate uh, molecules they are having uh, they can form some uh, hydrogen bonding with water molecule therefore we call it as hydrophilic polar or hydrophilic then non-polar or hydrophobic groups uh, that is a simple lipid structure uh, schematically represented uh, when they combined like this because same like 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 people will come together therefore these tails will come together head will go away then it becomes a, a bilayer structure uh, this is a lipid bilayer like that. Uh, it is a part of the cell membrane, our uh, skin side, everything that is this lipid molecule only as a bilayer molecule. It also forms uh, miscellaneous uh, in some cases to do some special, special uh, reactions to happen. Uh, uh, it becomes a ball shaped, ball shaped, not a two dimensional ball shaped uh, will be formed. We call it as miscellaneous in which uh, the aqueous phase will be outside, uh, the non-polar phase uh, goes inside uh, also. So inside it becomes a uh, non-watery nature, outside it is watery nature. Therefore any reaction which is to be happened uh, in the absence of uh, watery phase or aqueous phase uh, that will be happening inside that uh, and uh, it will open up uh, once it grows it open up. So mm, these are some small small factories, these miscellaneous. Okay, now that is just a schematic representation. Uh, this this is represents a phospholipid, a phospholipid in which uh, this represents the head. Okay, so this uh, uh, PO4 uh, that phosphate group, uh, phosphate group that uh, represents the head of that lipid, uh, and these are the tails which is represented. So you can see here this it can form, it can connect it to water molecule. This uh, particular area it can be connected to H2O water molecule, therefore, they are uh, hydrophilic, they are water loving. Whereas, these uh, CH2, 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 they cannot have anything uh, to do with the water molecule, there is no connection, they cannot form any uh, attachment with the water molecule, therefore, we call it as uh, hydrophobic uh, water heating. Okay, this particular layer here, which is only CH2, CH2, CH2 only single bonds are there. We call it as a highly saturated one. Saturated, there is no uh, all the bonds are occupied, all the covalent bonds are occupied. We call it as saturated. Rather than second layer in which you hear one double bond is there, therefore, this is unsaturated layer, uh, line or uh, this molecule. Okay, therefore, saturated uh, fatty acid, unsaturated fatty like that, you might have heard about. Okay, so this is the meaning of that actual meaning. You do not need to go in, in depth. So, double bonds are there, we call it as unsaturation. No double bonds present, only single bonds are there, we call it as saturation. So, this is one of that uh, represented by like this a head and a two tail. Okay, now uh, uh, this is a tri triglyceride. Okay, Th these become the cell membrane. Phospholipids become the cell membrane mainly, uh, even the skin, uh, that layer, all those, these are the cells only. Okay, so the cell membranes are made up of mainly phospholipids. Uh, glycerides, triglycerides, so this is a, so, uh, uh, CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH, that we call as the glycerol. 
So glycerol part, uh, it is connected to that uh, long chain uh, hydrocarbon. It becomes a uh, triglyceride. Triglyceride, which we call as the, our fat. We say that he is very fat. Very fat means he has about this one, uh, too much of uh, this type of molecules are present in his body. Okay, so that about the um, just basic introduction to lipid. Then the role of lipid, uh, mainly what, what this lipid, uh, why, why these lipids are required in our body. They are the energy storage. Uh, the uh, major source of stored energy in our body, it can be, which can be broken down to release energy when it is needed. That is the fat, uh, we call it as fat. Insulation, uh, lipids uh, help to insulate the body, helping to reg regulate uh, temperature uh, and uh, protect against the heat loss. Uh, uh, they become the uh, cell membrane structure. Lipids are a major component of a cell membrane helping to maintain their uh, uh, fluidity and uh, stability. Uh, hormones in the size, some lipids such as cholesterol uh, are uh, precursors to hormones and are uh, necessary for their uh, uh, production. Uh, transport, uh, uh, lipids are uh, soluble uh, in fat but not in water. This makes them ideal for carrying fat soluble vitamins and other lipophilic compounds through the bloodstream. Uh, somebody having not common sense, they continuously call it. Mm, so, what, what I was reached, uh, hormones in the cell. So, lipids are uh, also used as uh, cholesterol and uh, precursor to hormones, and it is uh, necessary for the production uh, for transport uh, because lipids are soluble only in fat but not in water therefore uh, okay i said that the micelli formation uh, okay so here uh, it will not be dissolved in watery molecule after phase uh, non-polar phase uh, it can be uh, dissolved therefore uh, uh, that will uh, make uh, sense here so there are several types of lipids uh, uh, including uh, saturated and unsaturated fat, phospholipids and uh, steroids. So it is important to have a balanced diet that include a moderate amount of healthy lipids such as monosaturated, mono unsaturated and polyunsaturated fat while limiting the intake of uh, saturated and uh, trans fats. It can help to maintain uh, the overall health and reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and stroke. Now, engineering applications of lipids, uh, they are used by where it is not only in our body as such, other applications like it is used in cosmetics, commonly used in cosmetics such as moisturizers to improve skin hydration and texture. Uh, they are used in food industry, lipids are used as ingredient foods, uh, products such as uh, margarine and uh, frying oils to improve texture, flavor and shelf life of the food. Medical devices, uh, they are used in medical devices such as uh, lipid based uh, drug delivery systems to improve the delivery and the efficiency of drugs. They are used as a biofuel. Uh, vegetable oil, animal fat, it can be converted into biofuel such as biodiesel and bioethanol to provide a renewable source of energy. Surface modification, lipid can be used to modify the surface properties of materials such as metals or polymers to improve their performance and their biocompatibility. They are also used as surfactants to reduce the surface tension and improve the mixing of oils water-based substances, their oil and water-based substances for their mixing, lipids are used. Now, lipid as biodiesel, uh, lipid can be converted into biodiesel, uh, which is a renewable source of energy. Uh, biodiesel is uh, typically produced by trans testifying uh, vegetable oils uh, or animal fat with an alcohol, such as methanol to form methyl esters. The resulting biodiesel can be used as a drop-in replacement for a traditional diesel fuel in internal combustion engines. That is just like a normal diesel, we can use the lipid biodiesel, biodiesel produced using lipid. There are advantages, they are renewability, having renewability, 
with uh, different vegetable oil animal fat uh, can be used they have reduced the emissions they have improved performances they are biodegradable however there are some limitations they are costly actually uh, okay cost effective processing methods but still uh, research is going on to make it uh, cost effective and uh, once it is made cost uh, cost effective it will be one of the replacement for the uh, petroleum based uh, diesel the process of obtaining biodiesel from liquid uh, raw material preparation uh, they are collected purified and removed impurities uh, transesterification is done uh, it is a process esterification transesterification process uh, they mixed with alcohol uh, and uh, a catalyst uh, such as methanol and uh, sodium hydroxide to become fame that is uh, uh, fatty acid methyl esters which are which we call as the uh, diesel biodiesel as well as glycerol is also formed as a byproduct therefore that is separated the glycerol and uh, fame is separated uh, in a separation process then it is washed dried uh, then it is uh, purified further purified to remove any impurities present in that and the final product is stored and used as a fuel lipid as a cleaning agent and detergent that is a common usage of the lipid personal care product lipids such as fatty acid glyceride are commonly used as emulsifier surfactants in personal care product that is in shampoo soap lotions consist of lipid only industrial cleaning uh, the industrial cleaning applications uh, the uh, degreasing uh, stain removal and all uh, lipids are used as a laundry detergent uh, glycerides mainly fatty acid and glycerides uh, are uh, used as a cleaning agent for hard surfaces uh, for floors uh, counter tops uh, walls uh, to remove the tongue uh, lipids are used okay so uh, example uh, soap soap itself it is made up of a process uh, in which the lipid only converted to uh, as a soap fatty acid uh, stearic acid uh, it can be used as a clearing agent cleaning agent in personal care products such as bar soaps and shampoos uh, glycerol is a byproduct of soap production and can be used as a cleaning agent in a variety of application uh, in household cleaners uh, industrial cleaning solution glycerol is used uh, abs that is alkyl benzene sulfonates they are the synthetic cleaning agent which are derived from petroleum based liquid commonly used in laundry detergent dishwash liquid why suddenly it came i don't know uh, this i will delete okay fatty alcohols such as laurel alcohol can be used as a cleaning agent in personal care product and uh, industrial cleaning uh, solution okay so these are the few examples of uh, 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 cleaning agents advantages like uh, they are biodegradable they are renewable resources they have high effectiveness they are having mildness not uh, very harm to our body they are cost effective and they are customizable we can customize it as per our requirement uh, limitations limitations of uh, lipids which includes stability some lipids uh, they are susceptible to oxidation and degradation reaction of the environment condition compatibility may not be compatible with the certain uh, surfaces of uh, material uh, which causes some damage to that material although lipids can be less expensive uh, but uh, the cost can vary depending on the source of lipid and the processing method which is used availability uh, availability of a lipid for the as a cleaning agent may be limited by the availability of the feed stock and such as crops and animal fat so availability it depends upon the availability of the required crop or the fat of animal we cannot simply kill an animal and take the lipid so we have to wait for it performance the cleaning uh, performance of lipid can vary depending upon the specific properties of each lipid and uh, type of soil regulations uh, the use of lipid as cleaning agent is regulated by the government agencies uh, because it include uh, animal fat uh, therefore uh, it is regulated uh, otherwise uh, people will kill the animal and uh, take the fat and uh, 
for the generation of income okay for their business they will do therefore they have, there are some regulations also so that they are the limitations of a liquid as a cleaning agent the working uh, principle of lipid lipids as cleaning agent uh, because of the uh, hydrophilic hydrophobic uh, regions are there the hydrophilic regions will connect to the water molecule hydrophobic regions will be connected to the dirt or the oil or whatever it may be it will be taken separated with that one so that is the concept behind the cleaning method of uh, uh, lipids okay so hydrophobic regions are there which allow them to surround the grease and oil and uh, effectively breaking them down into smaller particles which can be more easily removed this is why lipids are commonly used in cleaning agents like a soap shampoo laundry detergents dishwashing liquids etc okay um, reading it now much complicated uh, terms allowing mixture to be rinsed away combination of lipid and water also forms an emulsion which help to suspend remove dirt and debris that means when we use the lipid molecule it will go mix with the water the uh, the dirt or the oil present it becomes a mixture which you call as the emulsion so that mixture emulsion form it can be removed easily by pouring water so in addition some lipids uh, have uh, additional properties such as forming lathering uh, capability so it, it even it forms so that uh, form uh, lather formation which will be making that dirt particle which is stuck into the in the pores of the cloth material or whatever it is stuck it will be come out easily uh, and it can be removed easily so these are the working principle of lipid as a cleaning agent so that's about this particular class video on uh, lipids uh, the engineering applications of lipids uh, why we want to know about uh, lipid uh, why engineers should know about lipid because it has got many application which we can uh, the other engineers can also think about using that for their own uh, collaborative you can have collaborative work with uh, those people who are working who are having knowledge on uh, lipids so this class note which i prepared you can i can share to you if you contact me on my whatsapp number 7975054865 i'll charge you one rupee for each uh, class video uh, class note a separate pdf note i have prepared so six pages are there one rupee you have to pay to me then i will uh, share the pdf note okay freely giving uh, that i stopped so thank you once again thank you very much for uh, watching my youtube channel uh, uh, please do subscribe to my youtube channel share this video to your friends who are there in the fourth semester of engineering uh, video uh, once again thank you very much have a nice day